Hey everybody, it's Ryan with Arsenal. Today I want to show you guys something that the team and I have been working on for a long time. So we've been totally redoing kind of a lot of the behind the scenes things that go into making uh, an Arsenal firmware update. So besides just the code that we write that ends up on the device, there's all this code that kind of revolves around testing and building the firmware and managing all that stuff. So I want to show you guys one of the big things that we've been working on, and when I say big, I mean actually physically big. So let me just walk down this hallway here. So we've been working on a system to improve the kind of quality of releases, the speed we can do releases, and this is it. This, this is what we call the banana stand. It's a stand for most of the cameras are still supports, the rest are kind of around the office. And you can hear it's starting to click. So I just told it to run our tests and it's actually going to take uh, every camera. We've got this automated test code. It's gonna run through that code, taking photos, checking that the settings ended up right, that the exposures are right, that it wrote to the car, that the metadata was correct, that you know, kind of all these tests that make sure that when you're using Arsenal, it's actually doing what you're telling it to do. So this was a ton of work. The team has done an amazing job. You can see each Arsenal hat or each camera has an Arsenal on it connected via USB. And then the, uh, each Arsenal is connected also via USB on the other side. They're all connected if you come around here. Um, they go to these hubs, the hubs go into this box down here and then it, this Mac here controls it. So we've actually built this system where anytime we push code, it will build that new firmware image, upload that image to all the arsenals. And then once that's ready, they'll run through their tests. And what this gives us that's really amazing is we can know right away that, hey, we broke something on the 5D Mark III or, hey, there's a performance regression on this camera. So this is just a sneak peek. I'm gonna go into details a lot more in a, in a future video just wanted to show you guys uh, one of the big things that we're, we've been working on. The biggest thing I think as a customer this is going to mean to you is faster releases. We're going to be able to get features out the door faster. A lot less time working on tracking down regressions and things like that because we'll immediately know we won't hear two weeks later something broke and then have to work, work our way back to fix it. It's also going to mean higher quality, a, a higher quality product at the end of the day that works better on all the cameras. And then I think the other last big thing is when we go to add new cameras, this is just gonna make it so much faster because we've got this test suite. All we have to do is make it pass all the tests. I also have a blog post coming that goes into a lot more detail on this and the new build system. And it also talks about all the new features in the next release. So look forward to that. Thanks everybody.